Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for the love that you showed on my previous video. If you're new to this channel, my name is AJ. Check out my last video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and you know, let's get this thing going. So today I'm talking about undertones of the skin. Yeah, yep. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever found a cute top that instantly made you look radiant? It made you feel alive? It looked amazing against your skin tone? And then you decided, oh, let me get this in another color. You put it on and then dry. Like nothing. Like desert. Like, mm -mm, nothing. Nothing give you. Another question, do you, do you, have you ever been to a party or an event and then there's this one particular woman who is not necessarily the most beautiful woman in the room, but she gets all the attention all day. She's not the most beautiful woman, but she is the most attractive woman. Have you ever wondered why? Do you want to know why? Okay, keep watching. your skin's undertone is that layer or that color underneath your skin tone that shows through your skin to affect the overall hue of your skin tone people usually confuse the two there's a difference between your skin tone and your undertone skin tone and undertone now your skin tone is what you see on the surface the undertone is found underneath your skin tone There are three different types of undertone. We have the warm undertones, the cool undertones, and the neutral undertones. Why do we need to know our undertones? What are the benefits of knowing your undertones? First and foremost in the beauty industry, and especially when it comes to makeup, it's really important to know your skin's undertone because it helps you to find the right foundation for your skin. Your undertones affect greatly the type of foundation that you need to apply on your skin that's why sometimes you apply a foundation and it looks um white or it looks um crusty or i don't know i don't know the right the right word to use for it but it looks white or ashy against your skin tone so knowing the right undertones will help you to pick the right foundation for your skin tone it also helps you when you it comes to clothing if you want to pick select the best colors that suits your undertone to bring out the beauty of your skin it makes you radiant it maxes your glow factor if you want to stack up some attractive points if you're trying to put your best foot forward especially when you're trying to make an impression you need to know your undertone which will also inform the type of colors that you choose even for your lipstick for your makeup for your hair for clothing you know to help with all that you can have the same skin tone as another person, but not necessarily the same undertone. We could both be dark skin, but have different undertones. We could bo both be light skin and have different undertones. Your friend could be wearing a blue dress and you share the same skin tone, and then it will not necessarily look good on you because you have a different undertone, okay? At this point, the million dollar question is, how do I find my undertones? It's quite easy. Uh, there are lots of ways to test your undertones, but I'm going to give you two easy ways to check your undertones. Number one, the jewelry method. The jewelry method. Now, get yourself some gold jewelry and some silver jewelry. Test it on yourself and see which one looks better against your skin tone. If it's, you're having problems, you know, telling which one is better, get a friend, a colleague or someone like that and have them look at it and tell you. If silver looks better against your skin tone, that means you are cool undertone. If gold looks better against your skin tone, congratulations, you are warm undertones. If both of them look phenomenal against your skin tone, Congratulations, you are neutral. 
and and I'm jealous of you because when it comes to neutral undertones you can do you can do whatever because you can go with cool you can go with warm silver looks good on you gold looks good on you so that is the first method number two the second way to find your undertones is through the vein method you, you, okay so what you can do is that check the lightest part of your butt usually is the inner part of the arm or the wrist and try and find your vein what color is the vein usually um if it's a green you see green veins you are a warm undertone if you see bluish or purplish veins congratulations you are cool undertone if it's the same color as your skin tone then it's most likely you are a neutral undertone so now that we know our undertones what next okay i'll tell you i'll start with makeup for makeup um i always i always use mac cosmetic as a reference point because i think they've made it quite easy they have the nw's and the nc's have you ever wondered what this stands for the nw stands for the neutral warm nc stands for the neutral cool so i think they've made it quite easy if you're a warm skin tone you you, you find maybe a foundation that's nw something then you find your shade if you're a cool tone go to the nc palette which is the cool undertones and look for your 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 foundation if you're not too sure my tip one of the best tips that i can give you is go to the warm and palette choose the foundation that is closest to your skin tone go to the cool palette choose a foundation that is closest to your skin tone and then go to the mirror I, I i usually tell people to when you want to test for a foundation test it on your neck and your chest put the cool palette on one side the warm palette on another side the one that disappears into your skin is congratulations you found your shade i use mac as a reference because that's what i use and that's what i know but if you use another brand of cosmetic just you can go to the counter and talk to the rep to show you which one of the palettes is cool and which one is um warm and then you can decide from there which one best suits you so the next thing i'll talk about is clothing and colors the fun part um when you are if you are a cool if you have cool undertones the best type of colors for you are you know earthy colors like the burnt orange mustard yellows the the the, the browns and those uh, rusty kind of colors I'm, I'm going to put them um, up photos of a chat somewhere here or there about the type of colors that is best suited to your skin tone so the best coloring for warm undertones are rich earthy shades of red rust and burnt oranges mustard and citrus yellows khaki and olive greens chocolate browns and the like these shades of will emphasize your golden tones and make you look truly radiant peach coral and red violets are also great shades for you if you are cool undertone the best colors for you are the jewel tones that's the sapphire blues cobalt blue periwinkle blues um turquoise emerald greens yeah i'm going to put i'm also going to put up a, a screen for the best color choice so that best you to you so when it comes to cool undertones the colors that are most flattering are emerald greens deep purples frosty shades of lavender also pinks and bright rosy reds and super pale yellows look amazing against your skin tone if you are neutral, you can do whatever you want now. Do whatever. Wear. Wear. Anyhow. Just wear. You are lucky. You can wear. You can pull off any of them. And I'm not saying that by, that by giving you this information, I'm not saying that by all means stick to these colors. I wear everything. I'm a woman that's on. I wear everything. But then if I'm going somewhere important and I'm, I want to stand out, if I want to make an impression, you know, if I'm trying to intimidate, kakra. I want to intimidate you know look my best then I usually stick to colors in my palettes like as I was saying the oranges and the olive greens and those earthy tones 
you know to to to, to amp up my glow factor if you enjoyed this video as usual give it a thumbs up share subscribe very important leave your comments down below if you have any question about what i've said so far just leave your comments and i'll surely get back to you so thank you for sticking around and have a lovely day see you in my next video Mwah.